Hey guys, I've seen a lot of people asking for tips on ship combat. I've been PvPing since Alpha, so I thought I'd put together all my best advice on how to get better at fighting other ships. So hopefully this video will help you out. When entering ship combat, you really want to avoid a ship's broadside at all costs. So if possible, you want to try and be either in front of them or behind them. And do not use your anchor. Always just lift your sails up. That way you won't be stuck in place. In Sea of Thieves, knowing how to maintain your sail is extremely important. You should always try and catch the wind as best you can, unless you're sailing directly into the wind, in which case all three ships should have their sails aimed directly forward. This doesn't make much sense, but this is just how it works. The sloop is a special case. If you can't catch the wind in your sails at all, you need to have your sail aimed forward at all times. The sloop is actually the fastest of all three boats sailing directly into the wind. So if you're being chased, all you have to do is turn into the wind, aim your sail forward, and no one can catch you. One thing that helps when fighting other ships is that you can raise one of your sails to give you more control over your ship as you're fighting. And if you're on the sloop, you can just raise your sail slightly. One thing I see a lot is that ships will just circle around each other while fighting without touching their wheel. I'd recommend against this because this just makes it easier for them to board you and gives them a chance to line up their shot. What I would say is that I like to change my wheel up to keep them guessing, unless you have their mast down or they're anchored, in which case you do want to spin around them because this is the best way to get as much damage on them as possible. When shooting cannons, you'll rarely be aiming directly at your target, depending on your speed and their speed. Sometimes you'll have to aim behind them or even in front of them. A quick tip if you're on PC, something I like to do is use WASD to get my cannon in the general area I want to fire and then use my mouse to fine tune the shot. Now when shooting another ship, it's very important that you aim for their lower decks. Holes in the mid deck actually won't let water in until they're already sinking. So you want to try and get as many holes in their bottom deck as possible, as quickly as possible. You should be using each shot you take to line up your next shot until you zone in on where to aim to hit them in just the right spot. If your enemy is firing back at you, one thing you can do is actually aim your shot at their cannons rather than their lower decks. That way you can knock them off of their cannons and protect your ship. Cursed Cannonballs can be extremely powerful if you can find them. The ones I like to look out for are Jig Balls and Weary Balls, which can stun enemy players, Ballast Balls, which can make an enemy ship ride lower in the water and sink faster, and then that you have Rigging Balls and Anchor Balls, which can prevent an enemy ship from escaping. Just make sure you land your shot. Chain Shots are how I open each fight, and it's worth noting these are heavier than normal Cannonballs, so you have to aim a little bit higher than usual. What these do is they break parts of an enemy ship. This means the mast, wheel, or capstan. And if you can knock down all of an enemy's mast, this can immobilize their ship, allowing you to get some heavy damage on them or possibly even board them. Once you have their mast down, if you notice that they're trying to pick it back up, what you can do is hit them with a blunder bomb and hopefully knock them away from the ropes and have their sail fall back down. This can be a good way to keep them from moving out of your cannon fire. Cowards. Now firebombs I don't use super often. I see a lot of new players thinking that they're doing a lot of damage with these, when actually all firebombs do is just create chaos and they're just kind of tedious for the enemy ship. However, if the ship has any kegs on board, this can be a good way to ignite them. A very important part of ship combat is actually boarding the enemy ship. Fact is, any average crew can probably keep their ship up just by repairing it, so that means you're going to have to get as many holes in their ship as possible and then shoot yourself out of a cannon or one of your crew, go over, and prevent them from repairing those holes. It's also worth noting that just like chain shots, you're going to have to aim yourself a little bit higher than usual when shooting yourself out of a cannon. Once on board, unless you're trying to run them into something, you should probably drop their anchor immediately. Now boarding ships is a very important part of PvP. If you're climbing a ladder and you're about to get shot, something you can do is just continuously let go and grab the ladder over and over until they take their shot. Hopefully they'll miss and that'll give you a chance to board. Now when climbing up with a sword, you always wanna dodge right when climbing up. So what you do is you just hold forward and then sword hop to the left or right immediately when getting on board. This will dodge any incoming shots that you may not see coming. If you're trying to hold down an enemy crew until their boat sinks, the best way to do this is to just spawn camp them. This isn't griefing, this is just how the game works. They always have the option to scuttle their ship if they need to. But a quick tip is that you can actually knock down an enemy ship's mast while on their boat. You just have to align the mast just right, aim the cannon up, and hit it with a chain shot. Now once you're actually spawn camping them, you want to stay on the back of the boat so you have a view of everything with your gun out. 
and then once they pop up, you can just take a shot on them and then finish them off either with a sword or a blunder bomb or whatever you want. You always have the option to firebomb their ship. This can make it harder for you to spawn camp them, but this will keep them very busy while they try and put out all the fire. When chasing another ship, there's a really good chance the other players are going to try and board your ship, so that's something you need to look out for. Here's an example. Did you hear that noise? That is probably the most important noise in this game that you need to recognize. The mermaid, the swimming, and then the splash as someone is climbing up your ladder. I'll play it again. The second you hear that, you need to drop what you're doing and pay attention to your ladders. Now it should go without saying, don't forget to repair your ship and bucket out water so you don't sink. However, sometimes it can actually be smarter to bucket out water and then continue firing on the enemy ship before going back to repair. You want to try and save repairing for when you don't have a shot on the enemy ship. This can be risky, but it can help optimize your damage output. You want to try and get used to the rate at which your ship fills up with water. That way you have in the back of your head an idea of how often you need to go bucket or when you actually should go repair. A good way to do this is to listen for the death groan of your ship. Did you hear it just now? I'll play it again. That noise you definitely need to memorize. That means you let the water get a little too high and you need to stop what you're doing and go bucket and repair your ship immediately. You should pay attention to any incoming chain shots. If any actually manage to hit your mast, you can catch it before it falls by hurrying up and lifting the sail all the way. After you do that, you should go repair it once, go back, drop the sail so you keep moving, and then you can go and finish repairs. An important lesson a lot of players learn the hard way is do not keep kegs on your ship, not even in the crow's nest. It's just not worth it. Wait, that's not a skeleton ship. No, that's my ship. All right, gotta go. No. Uh, well. Don't keep those in your crow's nest. Let that be a lesson. If you notice an enemy trying to board your ship, what you can do is actually harpoon them onto your ship and immediately start attacking them. This can be a great way to surprise them and get some easy damage in. You know what happens. Welcome, you see, welcome back. Is, oh, hello. Welcome back. All right, so what happened? No, no, no. No, you can talk while you're dead. It's no, fine. It's, it's fine. Okay, let's right, talk. What's so up? what happened? An advanced move you can try if you're not playing solo is that if you're sailing perpendicular to an enemy ship with your wheel centered and you manage to harpoon them, you can hold R on keyboard or X on controller to lock the harpoon in place. What this will do is this will spin you and the enemy ship around in a circle, allowing you to get major damage on their ship and ideally locking them in a position where they can't fire back. All right, that's my tips for today. I stream every weekday and most weekends at twitch.tv slash blurbs. If you have any other questions or you just want to come hang out, feel free to come stop by. Thanks for watching and I hope you enjoyed the video.